Hi everyone, and welcome to this quick video, which I think you will find very interesting. So, the Ripple CEO goes on to CNN and um, he has a, a chat, actually about a 21 minute chat, so it's nice to see CNN give uh, such airtime to the CEO of Ripple. But he, he takes the opportunity to, to have a bit of a go at Bitcoin and, and the rest of crypto and Ethereum. Um, which I found very interesting. So let's let's have a bit of a, a listen very quickly. For our viewers, officially in person, it's been a busy few months since we last spoke. Raising money, 300 plus customers, money brand relationship, the underlying liquidity relationship. Talk us through it. It's exciting times. It's been a really exciting time, but I think it's demonstrative of the momentum in the overall industry, but certainly for Ripple, 2019 was an incredible year for us. We started 2020 with a lot of momentum. Yeah. Lots of announcements, right? But none of them real. I'm going to switch to, going to forward to the seven-minute mark. Take a take a listen to this. A little bit how we talk about leading. I mean, China. To your point, it's been fascinating to see. I mean, they really, through mining power, control the Bitcoin blockchain. You have four miners in China that represent something like sixty plus percent of mining capacity. Eighty percent of mining capacity about is based in China for both Bitcoin and Ether. There you go. China controls the the Bitcoin blockchain, which Yes, there, there is a, a, a lot of mining activity happening in China and you know, that could change if uh, people set up mining farms uh, overseas. But I mean, in, in this nice 20 minute interview on CNN, um, he really has a goal. I'll, I'll find another nugget in here at the 12 minute mark. So let's, let's have a listen to this. With real customers solving real problems. You, you said you're an investor in Bitcoin. You own Bitcoin. I am. I do own Bitcoin, yes. yes. He owns Bitcoin. Is that a good investment? You know, I am going to dodge that question also. I've seen you dodge it You know, look, I what think about... What's the investment case? I guess that's a better question. Well, I, I'm going to macro all digital assets. I have said very publicly, I think the value of any digital asset in the long term will be derived from the utility it delivers. Okay. Bitcoin utility increasingly I think is viewed as a central goal. The gold market is a multi-trillion dollar market, and Bitcoin today is, I think, around $150 million, $160 million. Yes. Uh, do I think there's an option for Bitcoin to appreciate as more people see it as a useful store of value? Yeah, I think so. Do I think there's going to be other digital assets that increasingly have utility for customers and therefore drive velocity, usage, people holding it, and drive demand? Yes, I think that's likely. Oh boy, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it there. So he he I mean he's always knocked a little bit of Bitcoin, right? But he admits now he's he owns Bitcoin. Uh could be digital gold. Is XRP a good investment? I mean the CEO of XRP doesn't want to answer the question. You heard him there, seven minute mark. I'll post a link. Um and I mean this is from today. I just came home, I don't even know why I put CNN on, I was flipping through the channels and caught the interview probably about two minutes in. And I mean, so guys, I, I posted this on Reddit, our Bitcoin, that's me, Tavesh. Um, well, lots of comments, <laughs> there's a lot of comments, I need to read all of these. Um, here's a guy saying the world's largest mining farm is actually going to be coming up in Texas. Okay. And uh, lots of guys saying, yeah, well, the CEO of Ripple, that's the problem, right? That's it's not decentralized. Ripple has a CEO. <laughs> the currency was 100% pre-mined. I would prefer a bunch of Chinese miners to that. Okay. But the most interesting um, re uh, uh, rebuttal, a guy called Fun ID. I think we all upvoted it. And... Uh, it's actually pinned to the top of this post. So he actually says here very quickly that in 2017, they did try to control Bitcoin's mining and they, and they actually failed. So in 2017, Bitmain had a secret hack called ASIC Boost. I'm going to open that up, which they built into the ASICs, uh, application specific integrated circuit, uh, and they had an FPGA. And long story short, you can read through it, but Sedgwick actually made it difficult for them to, to to roll this out. Right, here's an article 
on on an ASIC boost. And basically, these guys, including Brian Armstrong at Coinbase, Roger Ver, all all of these guys, um, tried to create another fork called Sedgwick Two X. So the poster here, fun ID, really done a good job. He's, he's put the links in as well. Uh, this is an article from 2017 talking about Sedgwick 2x and it, and it was confusing if you're not a crypto person and uh, it still didn't didn't work right uh, the, they didn't get to do their fork um, and basically Sedgwick is a success but coin cash we know that you know where that is uh, and and the poster here says books will be written about this moment so I thought I'd share this with you, and it's only about an, a two hours ago that I that I created this um, post on our Bitcoin. I, I mean, as I said, I just grabbed my phone, took a screenshot because I couldn't believe this guy. And uh, there's some interesting content in in the replies. Cripple is a centralized crap coin. Yeah, uh, he needs to research Sedgwick Two X. Uh, proposed by the Chinese miners and failed. There we go. Okay, so I asked the guys, you know, what, what's what's the rebuttal? So there's some good comments coming in. What's interesting? I've got to end on this. Is that I just searched for Ripple CEO on CNN, thinking it's the first time. He's been lots of times on CNN. So why is CNN giving this guy airtime? Is is um, the establishment basically? A little bit nervous and look at the timing right 17th Feb if I go to coin market cap we've had a nice boost in 20 um, in 2020 having said that through the last few days bit of a dip uh, Ethereum's picking up again and perhaps they looked at this and they said well you know in the overall scheme of things um, this is what happened you know big uh, rally in 2017 and then they try to kill it here they you know they, they thought it was dead we had a 2019 rally and guess what <laughs> five months ago the guy goes on CNN you can't make this up right it's, it's funny and then now we have great action uh, you know price movement positivity beginning of 2020 and guess who's on CNN again and they give him 20 minutes I've never seen uh, even tech CEOs get Get 20 minutes. It's like a, it's not a segment. It's a, it's it's a, it's an entire program. It's an entire show. But anyway, I'll post some links to this video and the Reddit post because some of the the people on Reddit have been very kind and there's been some really good info in in this response to my post there. Uh, but I just thought I'd share that with you and just be careful out there into what you invest. Uh, stick to what you know decentralization is good I'm gonna be making a video uh, probably in a day or so revisiting my previous uh, journey 2020 journey with the ethereum and what uh, ratio what's going on with ethereum but for now I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this but a fun reading for you and I'll see you guys very very soon have a good evening